Did you just sing Chutia? Booty Chutia! No. Chutia. Yeah. That means mom. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reaction to Corbin. I'm Rick. Uh, I still love that you were able to get your cup done because they don't know what the heck they printed oh, on that no. thing. Today, I don't have that one, but I have Boo because it's it's not really spooky season yet. It is for me as far as... For my, my wife, it is. I'm with you. I think Halloween season because you should be enjoying it as much as you possibly can. Labor Day hits. It's the end of summer. That means the Monday following... The Tuesday, I mean, following Labor Day... Halloween season. Yeah, me and my wife put up our uh, Halloween Yeah, it looks great. You should see around here. There's, it looks a, there's a ton of decorations around here. Yes. This is an interesting video. Um, this is how India's perfume uh, perfumes recreate the smell of rain. Yeah, I was I was uh, weirded out by the title as well. Uh, I'd never even heard that they do that, for one. Also, why? Well, I can understand why. If you could get that scent, that smell, for like, like to fill your room, the smell of fresh, like when it first starts to rain. Yeah, apparently it's a big that's thing. Amazing. Uh, but I'd never heard of it, so uh, let's check this out. Fresh roses are the main ingredient for this ancient way of making perfume. The tradition is thousands of years old, and this small city in India is one of the only places that still makes it this way. One batch That's can cool. take weeks or even months to prepare. So old school. The result is 100% pure perfume, also called attar, the atar. Arabic word for fragrance. But what makes the attar so special atar. is also what is leading to its demise. The time-consuming process is hard to sustain. We visited India's perfume capital, Kanoj, to see how this craft is still standing. Workers gather roses in these fields near Kanoj and deliver them to distilleries Sorry, while they're still fresh. This one is over 100 years old. It's owned by NL oh. Ram Narayan Perfumers. There is no electricity and no industrial machinery here. Workers have already prepped these copper containers or dates, filling them with just the right amount of water, about 80 kilos. सबसे मुश्किल तो यही चीज है कि हमको कितना पानी लेना है सबसे मुश्किल यही चीज होती है हर आदमी अंदाज नहीं लगा पाता है वंस द फ्लावर्स अराइव दे आर केयरफुली वेड दिस इज द सेंट्रल पार्ट ऑफ द प्रोसेस द एक्यूरेट रेशियो इज की हमें लगभग 5 वर्ष लगे इस काम को सीखने के लिए द रोजेस आर इवनली स्प्रेड आउट एंड इट टेक्स टू मेन टू कैरी एंड पोर देम इनटू द बेग्स As the petals begin to seep in the water, That's to a seal it. Seal it. seals the yeah. container rim with a mixture of clay and cotton. Dang. This is like so old school. They then light firewood inside an earthen oven called a bhatti, and the alchemy begins. The heat boils the water and flowers until they emit steam. It condenses as it travels through this hollow bamboo pipe or changa. That connects to the bhakka. A smaller container filled with sandalwood oil that forms the base of attar. ये लोग भक्के जोड़ रहे हैं और ये जिसे भक्कटी ढील हो जाती है इसे टाइड बने रहे तो ये भक्के जो हैं मतलब पानी जो है बफार ना जाए. This is where every last drop of fragrant water will gather over six hours. Each step get created. In the meantime, workers constantly check the temperatures of the different vessels using their hands. And years of experience instead of thermometers. Yeah, it's hot enough. Yeah. <laughs> they monitor the fire to make sure the eggs are warm enough to create steam, Ooh, but not too good. much. Otherwise, it can destroy the scent. They also have to make sure the bhapka stays cool enough to turn the steam back into liquid. This is a job which requires a lot of patience. It requires a lot of time and effort. The input has to be good to get great outcomes. So. All the every uh, stage of our of our process has to be uh, given a lot of focus and to be done with a lot of concentration. And any slip off can you know have negative result. 
and the result is the all-natural Uther, free from any alcohol or artificial chemicals. Ashley would love With a scent it. Mm -hmm. that can linger for days. Here, they make over 15 different kinds of oils, but one of their most prized is Mitti Uther, literally meaning earth perfume. When, let's say, there is rain on dry, first uh, earth, and you know, the smell, the sweet, soothing smell that one gets. So that's the smell that you can expect from a thermic tea. Dang. To recreate heard of that. the smell of earth, they use old clay pots that were used for spices or tea. They crush the pots and add them to the water just as they did with the roses. But while rose atar is made in a day, others can take weeks or even months to produce. They are distilled and redistilled till the smell is potent enough. The last step is the bottling process. It's also old school. Using a funnel and a bucket, every tiny <coughs> bottle is filled by hand. Wow. Expensive atars can sell for 10,000 Indian rupees or 135 US dollars. And that's the price for just two teaspoons of it. <laughs> the raw materials are costly. And it takes a lot to make just yeah. a little amount of perfume. Yeah, understandable. Kanoj has been known to produce Atar for at least 400 years. As a matter of fact, uh, Kannauj has got the uh, geographical indication for an Atar. So, technically, uh, an Atar can only be from Kannauj. But the method of steam distilling is said to have originated in ancient Persia and the Middle East, thousands of years ago. In India, it was popularized by Mughal kings during the 17th century. But these days, young brand-conscious Indians mostly use Western perfumes. As a result, in the last 20 years, 80% of India's traditional distilleries have closed down, mm. and the people of Kanoj have felt the decline. So the whole town is involved in, in the business of perfumery. I would say um, about 80% to 85% of the people living in the industry, in, in the town, are associated to the perfume industry in one way or the other. A lot of people say that, you know, it's losing its sheen and stuff like that. I, we personally don't feel that way. Uh, every day we strive to uh, innovate and, you know, uh, find a new application for our oils. So we've seen growth, no doubt. Muslims all across South Asia have used Atar for centuries. It's believed to be one of Prophet Muhammad's most prized possessions. So, my dada, my daddy, sab and outside of India, these chemical-free ethers are popular in the Middle East. Ashley needs to know about this, yeah. European fragrance houses have also been importing ether to use it as an ingredient in their modern perfumes, breathing oh. new life into an ancient industry. So they're going to take the pure perfume and add it to their chemical compounds? The Probably. It's yeah. a lot of responsibility as well. When you uh, have to maintain <laughs> certain standards, then that becomes and they'll advertise it as makes the us proud yeah. to carry forward a legacy of five generations. After all, recreating the smell of rain on earth is no small legacy. I want to smell. Yeah. I would love to smell that. Yeah. That was great. What a great video. Yeah, that was very informative, something I never knew about. And yep. it was a really a really well done informative video. I would love to smell it. Yeah. Anybody would, have some that they can send me? I, I'd love to smell it and potentially it's something I think. And is it, is it, it may not be feminine or masculine in terms of its capacity. I would Maybe like both. to smell the rain one. Yeah, that's the one I want yeah. to smell the most is the rain one and see what, what that's like. And if it's more feminine or masculine and su support it. Like if it's a more feminine type of a fragrance and that rain smell, I, the fact that it's pure, Ashley's all over that. If you yeah. guys, any of you who follow her on Instagram or her YouTube channel, uh, purity of things and being the way the earth made them is as is supporting this reminded me of there's a coffee place out in santa clarita they're also in orange county called bodie leaf i'm sure i'm 
mispronouncing it based on the way you guys pronounce that that word b-o-d-h-i that probably bodhi uh but it's it, the best one of the, it's the best coffee i've ever had i tried it and i met the owner and i talked with her found out her story so now i'm buying my coffee from her even though it's twice what i would pay interesting at like world market you have to give me some of that yeah it's it's but it's twice the amount, but because I know I'm supporting a local place that's getting this from farmers and I know the hand to hand where it's coming. Yeah. That's what this makes me feel like. It's like buy it from these guys and it's it's not exorbitantly priced based on what we just saw. Oh at and perfumes all. are really I was expecting here. it to be more in the neighborhood of like three hundred dollars a bottle. Yeah. Right? Because they could get expensive here. Yeah. Like for like Celebrities, they'll just randomly put out stuff in. It'll yeah, be hundreds especially of dollars. Especially if it's a perfume. Like, late, men's cologne can be pretty pricey as well. But ladies' perfumes can be... I mean, if you can get it for under $100, you got a bargain. Yeah. So, that uh, was really cool. Yeah, that was a really great video. Please let us know what other informative videos and how I can get a hold of some of this rain perfume down below. Just